Hi and welcome to week 17 of economics. So we will begin, this is a special week that wraps up with a student-led conference at MAS. Um, the innovative approach of student-led conferences uh, in contrast to traditional assessment methods. Uh, so uh, student-led conferences empower students to take an active role in their learning journey. Uh, here, students reflect on their experiences in the economics course. Uh, and of course, reflections go beyond recalling facts. They involve contemplating personal growth, challenges faced, and connections made with economic concepts. Through discussions, journaling, and collaborative activities, students shape a narrative that not only showcases their academic progress, but also deepens their understanding of the subject. As we move on into the second day of the preparations, the focus turns to presentations. Students will articulate their reflections, goals, areas of strength, and areas of improvement. And of course, this goes beyond a mere showcase of knowledge. It's a dynamic presentation. It's full of personal anecdotes and a comprehensive overview of their economic learning journey. This approach fosters a classroom environment where peers actively engage with each other's experiences, providing constructive feedback and collectively contributing to the learning process. Now, as we shift gears into the material itself, we will begin talking about the evolution of electronic banking. Uh, electronic banking began with the introduction of the automated teller machines, ATMs. You guys will be familiar with those machines that you withdraw money from with your debit cards. And they expanded into the realm of online banking and mobile applications more recently. This progression revolutionized how individuals and businesses conduct financial transactions. The convenience and accessibility brought about by electronic banking have not only transformed the user experience, but have also posed challenges, leading to the implementation of advanced security measures. The development of electronic banking is a testament to the ever-evolving intersection of finance and technology. So we'll then move on to another facet of economics, uh, which is investing. So we're gonna explore how investing serves as a cornerstone of the enterprise system. Investing simply is a mechanism through which individuals allocate capital or money to businesses, fostering economic growth and innovation. Investors, driven by the pursuit of returns, contribute to the vibrancy of the free market by enabling businesses to expand, innovate, and create jobs. This symbolic, symbiotic relationship between investors and the free enterprise system underscores the dynamic nature of capitalism where risk-taking and entrepreneurship fuel progress, competition, and economic vitality. So thank you all, and I look forward to working with you in class. Thank you.